amidst the diversity of Quakers, uh, it seems that the, the idea that there is that of God in everyone is a core belief or principle that helps us to treat others with compassion. And that has led Quakers over the centuries to many different uh, witnesses, uh, such as uh, a disagreement with war, um, concern for prisoners, um, slavery, uh, poverty and wealth, all of the things that affect people that have that of God in them. That there's this sense of divine spark in anyone and everyone um, is a real gift to consider that when you think about humanity, that everybody has that in some capacity. Um, and it's just a matter of being with it and experiencing it and finding it and sharing it. Um, so for me, that's a really strong calling. So when I first heard that, I, you know, okay, there's that of God in everyone. Wow, that's pretty powerful. What does that mean? And it has, uh, you know, as simple as a phrase is, it's pretty complicated in that it has lots of different meanings. And sometimes um, I have a hard time seeing that of God in other people. But I have to remind myself that it is there and I have to be patient and wait for that to appear. I'll challenge myself and say, well, you think that there is God in everybody, even a person who does X, Y, and Z? Um, well, yes, but they probably were not listening to God in them when they were doing that. I don't know like, what kind of vocabulary people feel comfortable using, whether it's like God or the light or just, um, just some kind of like um, energy or something in all people and they're not being uh, any kind of like hierarchy at all. There is a divine spark in each human being that is in direct communication with God. And therefore we don't need any priests or bishops or other intermediaries or actually churches uh, to communicate with the divine because it's there available directly for every individual. That was a powerful thing to talk to a, a little person about. I mean, I think we started talking to Miss Sage about, you know, when she was two, um, about that still small voice and that of that of the divine in every person. And she gets that. She got that right away. Um, it made sense. I think the the goodness of 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 people, um, even people that make some bad choices. Um, and so we'll kind of process that through when she's had a tough day at school, and I think that's been one of my favorite spiritual principles, that Quakerism has really helped give me words to talk to her about that. Uh, it it seems like God is outside of you, and that you're always praying to or speaking to somebody outside of you. But once you have that sense that God is inside of you and other individuals, that's a, that's a very um, freeing um, idea, uh, freeing in the fact that we all might be complicated, we all might be, uh, have various uh, uh, different kinds of personalities, some nicer than others, but, um, but yet, and even the most um, difficult people, you know, trying to find that one place uh, that you can speak to, uh, that there is God in, in each of us. I think that was the, one, of the, one of the most enlightening um, aspects of, uh, of, of Quakerism. To me, that of God in every person is the Holy Spirit. That's what I think of when I hear that. The Holy Spirit uh, is the part of God that inspires people to believe in God and to act upon that belief. It's not just that of God in every person, but that of God in every thing. One thing that I found is that it, it makes me more open to understanding and being with people who have a different 
mindset than I might have or have a different worldview than I might have. Um, it allows me to appreciate what their experience has led them to believe. So that, um, you know, it's not that I see myself as being foreign to others, more like we're sort of kindred spirits, maybe on different paths. I think that everybody has a uh, capacity to be good or evil. And I chose, I choose to try to look for that, the good in, in others. <laughs> well, I suppose I could say I'm the better form of myself when I have my Quaker mindset on. <laughs> it has deepened my understanding of diversity. Um, And it has allowed me to observe and kind of coexist with different communities and different ethnicities and different nationalities, not only in the United States, but obviously outside of the United States and my work, sort of just through listening and contemplation and um, appreciation for, um, you know, the divine spark in everyone. I think Quakers believe that there is a higher force field by whatever name, God or whatever you want to call it, and that human beings participate in that force field and that that force field, as we say, that of God, is in every boy and every girl and every man and every woman. It, that touches me more than anything else. That's what I love about friends. That's why I will be a friend. Thanks for asking me.